Gila Monsters. Hello, creature enthusiasts. Today, we are going to learn about Gila Monsters. Want to read along with us? Just head over to learnbride.org and download this lesson. What is a Gila Monster? The Gila Monster is a type of lizard with very special physical characteristics. Its skin is covered in bead-like scales called osteoderms, which help protect it like armor. These scales are usually black with bright pink, orange, or yellow patterns that warn predators that it is dangerous. Gila monsters can grow up to about two feet long and have thick, fat tails where they store extra fat to survive when food is scarce. The Gila monster received its name from its primary habitat, the Gila River Basin in Arizona and New Mexico. They live in desert habitats in the southwestern United States and northwestern Mexico, especially in places like Arizona. The monster part of the name is likely due to its venomous nature and sometimes folklore associating it with danger. The reptiles prefer dry, rocky areas with lots of burrows and cacti where they can hide from the hot sun. Gila monsters are primarily solitary, meaning they like to live alone. However, they do come together during mating season. They are nocturnal and crepuscular, so they are most active at night or during the early morning and late evening when it's cooler. When it comes to their young, Gila monsters are oviparous, meaning they lay eggs. The female digs a hole in the ground and lays about 2 to 12 eggs, which she then buries. After that, she leaves and the eggs hatch independently after several months. The baby Gila monsters, called hatchlings, are born fully developed and ready to survive independently without their parents' help. They must find their own food and stay safe. But even as babies, they already have venom to help protect themselves. What do they eat? Gila monsters are carnivores, eating only other animals. Their diet includes bird eggs, small mammals like mice and young rabbits, insects, lizards, and other reptiles. They use their strong sense of olfaction, smell, to locate prey, flicking their long forked tongues to collect scent particles from the air. These particles are analyzed by a special organ in the roof of their mouth called Jacobson's organ, which helps them track down food. Once Hilo monsters find their prey, they use a surprise attack. These reptiles are not fast, so they rely on ambush predation, which means they hide and wait for prey to come close. When they bite, their sharp, grooved teeth allow venom from their venom glands to flow into the wound. The venom slows down or incapacitates the prey, making it easier for the reptiles to swallow their meal whole. They don't need to eat often and can go for months without food because they store fat in their tails. Other interesting facts. One unique fact about Gila monsters is that they are one of the only venomous lizards in the world. While many animals use venom to kill prey, Gila monsters mostly use it for defense. Their venom contains proteins that affect nerves and blood flow, making predators think twice before attacking. Scientists have even studied Gila monster venom to create medicine for people with diabetes. Gila monsters have a slow lifestyle, which helps them survive in harsh desert environments. They can spend up to 95% of their time hidden underground in burrows to avoid the extreme heat. This behavior is called astivation, which is like hibernation but happens in hot weather. They only come out to feed or find mates, often during cooler parts of the day or after it has rained. 
In the wild, a Gila monster can live for more than 20 years. It grows slowly and doesn't reach full size until several years old. Because of its slow metabolism and ability to store fat in its tail, it has adapted well to survive in environments where food and water are not always available. Why are Gila monsters important to the environment? Gila monsters play an essential role in the ecosystem as predators and prey. By eating small animals and eggs, they help control populations of rodents and insects, which keeps the food web balanced. They are also food for larger predators, including hawks and coyotes. This balance is vital for the health of the desert habitats where they live. Currently, Gila monsters are listed as near-threatened in some places, but they are not yet endangered. Their biggest threats are habitat loss due to human development, capture for the illegal pet trade, and death by people who are afraid of them. Many laws now protect Gila monsters, making harming or capturing them illegal. Protecting these unique reptiles helps preserve the desert ecosystem they live in. We just learned a lot of cool facts about Gila monsters. Let's review. 1. True or false? Gila monsters are herbivores. False. Gila monsters are carnivores. 2. Choose the word or words the author would say best describes the Gila monster. A. Diurnal. B. Friendly. C. Colorful. D. Sociable. E. Fierce. C. Colorful. 3. How long can a Gila monster grow? They can grow up to around 2 feet long. Nice work, monster magicians! If you liked learning and reading along with us, please make sure you visit learnbright.org for even more cool lessons. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.